In this example, I would like to not only work the problem, but discuss several different ideas and different terminology. First of all, to find the zeros of a polynomial function, you would set f of x equal to zero and then solve by trying to factor, use quadratic formula, whatever method works the best for the problem. In most cases, we are gonna try factoring if we can. There are other facts about zeros and then also factors that relate to each other that we need to know. There's also a term that we call multiplicity and I'll explain to you what that means. So let's start by finding the zeros of this particular function and then I will define what we mean by multiplicity and then also tell the multiplicity of each of these zeros. So to find the zeros, I would substitute zero for f of x and then write down what's left over. To solve this, here I could factor out a negative x squared. That would leave me with a positive x and then a positive 2. And then we know to solve equations that have been set to 0 and then factored. You set each one of your factors equal to 0. And then solve both of those pieces individually. Now, this first factor that I have is a negative x to the second power. I'm going to discuss something with you here that you need to remember for later, and that is if you ever end up with a factor having a power, the only way that factor can equal zero is if the variable part of that equals zero. So in other words, here, the only way that negative x to the second could equal zero is if the x part equaled to zero. Over here on the other one, we can solve like we normally would. This would give us x equals negative two. Now, multiplicity is the number of times a factor is repeated. I'm gonna take this step here and I'm gonna rewrite it somewhat. Um, we have a negative in the front. We could just think of that as a negative one. That's not important to what I'm discussing here. And then we have an x squared basically meaning it would be an x repeated twice and then we have an x plus 2 factor. Now the x plus 2 factor is very different than the x factor. Okay, Notice there that that factor is only I'm going to say written one time while these guys are actually written twice. We can tell that by looking at the original exponents. In other words that factor of x equals uh, of x is repeated twice and then this factor of x plus 2 is written once. Those powers on the factor are called multiplicity. And so here we would say that x equals 0 is a 0 of our polynomial and it has a multiplicity of 2. Here we would say x equals negative 2 is a 0 of our original function and it has multiplicity of 1. Now the most important thing for us later on is what does multiplicity mean? Multiplicity means that if you were to plot these zeros on your x-axis, then the multiplicity tells you whether the graph goes straight through the zero or actually turns around. And I'll show you what I mean here. So for example, on this first one, on the x equals zero, then we would know that whatever this graph is, it has a point at zero. Having an even multiplicity means that the graph would turn around at zero. In other words, do something like this. It could do that, or depending on what the graph looked like, it could also do something like this depending on which direction the graph is coming in at. But we're basically going to turn around at zero if your multiplicity is even. Okay? On the other one, here we have a zero of negative two. That means that my graph has an x-intercept of negative two. The multiplicity here being odd, the number one, means that the graph would go right through that particular point. It could go through like that or 
it could go through at a different angle depending on the behavior of the graph. But basically there, if you have an even multiplicity, then that means that your graph turns at that particular zero. If you have an odd multiplicity, then that means that your graph goes through that zero.